Welcome to Photosynthesis. I'm Nessa, and this is an unboxing. Okay, so I have moved some plants around. There was a mealybug infestation over there. That is just in a cup of water now. It was a, a lesson in learning, and I had all kinds of issues this last few days. It really tested my desire to be a plant parent, but I, I love plants and just trying to figure out how to not freak out and worry so much. I think I'm more of the overprotective type of, of plant parent, unfortunately. Let's get into this Josh's Frogs order. I'm going to probably film like little lessons I'm learning, kind of like a series throughout this channel's time, <laughs> however long it lasts, because as a new plant parent, I am learning a lot of things and ordering affordable plants online isn't always the best idea, but Josh's Frogs is definitely a, from my one experience of ordering several plants, I really enjoyed almost all the plants I got. I did order an Anthurium that was really damaged, so unfortunately that was that, but everything else was really good. For the price, it's super cheap and they're baby plants, so you get to raise them from small to however hopefully large they can get. So, with all of that being said, I'm going to get into the live plant box. I open up the box and here's my order from order form. Et voila, an open box. I did repot a couple of the plants that I did receive from them my, in my first order that I, I made and everything was fine. I haven't seen any like fungus gnats, anything weird from their soil. I feel like they do take care of their plants. This is the best affordable plant shop. <laughs> That's mainly for frogs that I have found and I've only ordered a few times like from Amazon, my house plant shop, Walmart, whatnot. Yeah, so anyway, okay. So here we have the box. They just come in these little bags and here are the four plants in my hand. Nothing was squished because of the size of the box. These fit well. The shipping was extremely fast, extremely fast. Well done, Josh's frogs. Let's go ahead and open up each of these plants and inspect them and see what I ordered. I recently was watching an unboxing of a very pricey rare plant and the way that it was shipped made sense to me. They had that, um, shredded paper stuff all in the leaves which really helped keep the leaves in place they use a ton of it and then i've also seen someone tape the plant in the box and everything i don't know how much further you can get with like protecting a plant everything feels kind of moist so we'll see what happens but i'm gonna go ahead and unwrap and then show you the plant okay so i am unwrapping this from the package i have the box underneath me trying to prevent a mess from happening now i ordered a jade pothos from them pothos pothos not sure exactly how you pronounce it an epipremnum epipremnum so after unwrapping the first layer of brown packaging which really isn't much there's a lot of soil in there. They did tape it as well, but there's still a lot of soil. So I am going to wash these leaves. And one thing I personally like to do is spray everything with neem oil. I'm trying to look at these leaves. They look okay. My other jade pothos that came from them was beautiful. One thing that I really am very, very aware of is checking for pests, especially on the newest like growth. Look at that, there's a new little baby. Is that a mealybug? I'm so afraid. I just hope it's pearl eye. I cannot, oh, the mealybugs. Oh, and, and they look like pearl light, but they have legs. And, and if they're, you know, I almost can't tell. Anyway, I'm freaking out about thinking about mealybugs. I'm gonna have to vacuum a lot. I didn't do this with a house plant, my house plant shop, which I wish I did. So these are a lot of cuttings. The roots seem fine. Yeah, I'm really happy to have it. I'm gonna put it on the other sconce. I had the Ficus pumilia minimas on the sconces on my wall back there, but I decided I wanted the pothos because I just love pothos. And so I put the one that I had on one sconce and I'm like, oh, I need another one for the other sconce. So I have this one and I'm gonna wash it and yeah, everything looks okay. I just have to vacuum now and then open the other three plants. I'm gonna put those pieces of hair behind my ears because they want to go everywhere. My hair is on a wild hair day. <laughs> Here we have the second plant. I've started to unwrap it. Same situation. There's the paper just loosely around it and then they went ahead and they placed tape around the top of it. The Alocasia Mayan Mask. I am so excited about it. It's so cute. I'm really, really happy about this. this. is my first Alocasia. Here we have another plant to unwrap. If you saw my last video, it was my wish list plants. I think I'd named seven of them. And the Alocasia Black Velvet was one of them. And I kind of gave away that they were on their way. So I will inspect this further. 
But this leaf right here is so gorgeous. Look at this. And there's even a new leaf is starting to grow. Isn't it gorgeous? Not only did I order one alocasia black velvet, but I ordered two. <laughs> so I got two of these gorgeous, beautiful plants. These were my first velvety plants. I'm also going to try to give an update because I'm not going to edit this right away. And then I'll give you an update on a different day. So yeah. So this is the update. It's been a week and three or four days since I have had these beautiful plant babies in my house. As you can see, here is the Jade Pothos, 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 which do you say? <laughs> Unfortunately, there were some fungus gnats that came from this, even though the other plants that I received from Josh's frogs didn't have fungus gnats. You know, fungus gnats are such an interesting creature because they can appear from anywhere. So you may see some diatomaceous earth on the foliage, maybe inside, because I'd put that to help with the fungus gnat. And I'm excited for it to grow. The other three plants, there weren't any fungus gnats. The alocasia. I can really tell that these plants love the light. They are reaching for the light. I'm not sure if that means they need to go closer. I am a new plant lady, so I am learning, and I know alocasia like to drop leaves. The two black velvet plants have been excellent. The Mayan mask plant had one leaf that decided to leave us and there hasn't been any new growth. And this plant in particular really likes to move toward the light a lot more than the black velvet. But the other two, well, one of them lost a leaf, but a new leaf unfurled. And the other one also unfurled a new leaf. I think they're so pretty and I'm really happy to have them in my collection. I think this was a pretty excellent haul if i may say so myself josh's frogs i'm really happy with it but yeah the fungus gnats it's okay it's been okay since i put the diatomaceous earth on and the alocasia are just gorgeous they're so beautiful and i'm excited to repot them once they've acclimated and i'm so happy to have these and i would highly recommend josh's frogs if you're looking forward to an affordable shop even though they're small plants they still have really cool plants nice house plants uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed at this point of the video I'm gonna ask if you have not subscribed to my channel subscribe down below make sure to like this video if you liked it And that's it. I will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye now